Hello my lovely viewers, welcome to Zinat's Kitchen, I hope you're all well and safe. I am making a baguette recipe, I did have one on YouTube but that was my first video. This one is an updated one requested by a lot of my viewers and, and it's very simple so you can make lovely and easy fresh baguette at home. Here is all my ingredients. I have 500 grams of strong bread flour, but you can do it with all-purpose flour as well. It's not a problem. Here I have 30 ml of oil, cooking oil, any cooking oil, 30 ml. Okay, and I use this yeast. It's always kept in the fridge. This is instant yeast. We don't have to check whether it is active or not. So this is just quarter teaspoon. A quarter, only a quarter teaspoon. There we are, quarter teaspoon. Okay. And salt is always a quarter teaspoon as well, salt quarter teaspoon. It's up to your taste, by the way. And this one is half a teaspoon. I will put sugar. I always put use brown sugar. It's half a teaspoon. And milk powder, I'm using nido. You can use any milk powder. Three tablespoon, three tablespoon full. That's one, that's two, and that's three. That's about it, we've done everything now. We have already put salt, sugar, yeast, milk, and oil. Now what I will do, I will mix all of them. Here we are. And this one is warm water, warm water to the touch that your finger can resist the heat, not boiling. It depends where you are anyway. If you are in a cold country, I make it warm. If you are in a hot country, I don't need to warm it. And uh, it's 300 ml. I will put whatever it requires. Okay, I have put uh, 150 ml I have put. I'm leaving it with another 150. I'll wait and see how much I need to add. That is also depend on the flour that you're using and the climate of your kitchen of where you are. Here I am using all the water, all the full 300. So if I require more, I will let you know how, how much more I have put. I don't think I will put more now. Right, now I'm going to put this in my uh, mixer. If you don't have a mixer, you can do it by hand. About 15 minutes you need to knead it. But it's handy with a mixer. Right, I will put it in my mixer now. Here we are, guys. I have already done it in my mixer. Wait, look at the texture. It is soft. It's not uh, sticky, it is nice and soft, very pliable. I remove it from the mixer now. I'm going to put it in this bowl. You can put a little bit of oil in the bowl so it does not stick to the bowl. Right, it's all done. Look how nice and soft it is. If you do it by hand, make sure you knead it for 10, 15 minutes. If you're tired, halfway through, cover it, leave it and come back to it knead again and then that's it you just leave it in here 
and now I am going to cover it and leave it. And now the time is, is in UK, it is 20 to 11 now. I will wait after one hour, I'll come back to it. Okay, I'll see you after one hour then. Okay, just cover it with any plastic, it doesn't need to be fancy. Any carrier bag, any plastic bag in the shop, just cover it and leave it, let it rest. I told you I'll come back in one hour. So after one hour, we'll see how it is. It, it will be double, double in size. If not, we wait more. That's it. That's all there is to it. And you can see no messy, no nothing, no sticky anywhere. All good. So see you later then. Here we are, guys. It's been over an hour. Don't worry, it will not be spoiled. You can leave it overnight sometimes. And it's been well risen, look. So we have to just take the air out and fold it. sticky or anything if you find it sticky wet your hand a bit and then deal with it okay i'm just going to leave it for half an hour now and then i'll come back and then shape it and bake it here it's been resting enough now we just shape it and then we we'll bake okay look at that look how nice it is very nice this is i've got from uh, Amazon to, to put a slit on the bread but this one I got from pound shop this is a mini box opener this one is very good I only use this now I don't use anything else besides this I'll just leave that there I'm not going to use it at the moment and this is also from Amazon Just sprinkle a little bit of flour here on the board. There we are. We just flatten this. Make it like a rectangle. You can cut it with any knife, anything. Okay, now you just shape this. You will see, guys, how easy it is, no problem at all. And roll it. Roll it like that, we fold it. Easily get four baguettes in that. If you want to make any smaller baguette, you can. Any shape of bread you can. Now what you have to do is to pinch this end like that, just pinch it so it does not open while it's in the oven. There we are, you roll it, there we are, that's it, do you find it difficult? Not at all difficult, look. 
Okay, I'll just put it here. I will leave it here to rest. You continue the same with the rest of the portion. Make four baguettes easily, easily four baguettes. Here we are, here. Okay, continue with the rest the same way. Here guys, it's all done. Now I'm just going to wait a while, let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. Then it will go in the oven. Here, bread is ready to go in the oven. So what I do now, I will use this small box, mini box cutter. I will just cut it like that. You can use any knife. Here, I'm just going to wet it. Even by hand, you can just wet your hand and pass it all over. If you don't have a brush, no problem. I have already preheated my oven now, 180 degrees. I will leave it for 20 minutes or until it gets a nice brown color. At this stage, if you want to sprinkle any sesame seeds or any black seeds, whatever, you can do it. Just like that. Just a little bit. Right. I am just putting some uh, boiling water in the kettle to go in the oven. So to form a bit of steam then your bread will be nice and crispy outside and soft inside. Here is a long awaited baguette guys. What do you think? Isn't that fantastic? Okay, let it cool down a bit and then I'll cut it and show you the inside. I don't need to put mine on a metal grid because mine is already in a perforated mold. So, you don't have one like that you need to remove your bread straight away from the oven leave it on a metal grid like that okay but mine this is already perforated so no need for that okay let me just cut it and show you let me just cut it and show you the inside look how crispy it is from out and look at the inside, how nice it is. Look, can you hear that? Nice and crispy. This is so fantastic with butter and cheese or gato pima. Thank you very much. I hope you like the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Zinat's Kitchen. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Bon appetit.